Apollo 11 was the daring mission set by President John F. Kennedy. On July 20, 1969, American astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans ever to land on the moon. Around six and a half hours later, Armstrong became the first person to walk on the moon. It's been estimated that over 650 million people watched the moon landing. It's been said that it's one of the most impressive things humans have achieved, and since then many other space missions have taken place. Interestingly, while on the moon the team took some lunar samples, and this wouldn't be the only time this happened. NASA have said that between 1969 and 1972, six Apollo missions brought back around 382 kilograms or 842 pounds of lunar rocks, core samples, pebbles, sand and dust from the lunar surface. With NASA further saying the six space flights returned 2,200 separate samples from six different exploration sites on the moon. So with so much knowledge about the moon rocks and the fact they've been able to collect quite a few samples, NASA decided to donate some of these rocks to various countries. One of these places that received a rock was that of the Dutch National Museum. It treasured this piece of rock and was the centerpiece of the museum. However, after tests were carried out on the rock, it turned out the object is nothing more than a piece of wood. The BBC reported that it was given to former Prime Minister Wilhelm Dries and this was during a goodwill tour by the three Apollo 11 astronauts shortly after their moon mission in 1969. When the Prime Minister passed away, the rock was then put on display in the museum. Due to the size and how rare the object was, reports said that it was even insured for over $500,000. Interestingly, although the museum now knows the rock isn't genuine, they have said they're still going to keep it as a curiosity. One of the lead investigators said the following about the rock. It's a good story with some questions that are still unanswered. We can laugh about it. The fake rock is now known by its item number NG1991425. Due to this story, all kinds of theories started to be put forward. US officials said they have no explanation for the Dutch discovery. However, others have suggested that the Prime Minister at the time mistook what he was being given, and say that the Prime Minister was just given an ordinary rock, and that he'd confused it with a lunar rock. But some pointed out why would US officials give the Prime Minister a random piece of rock? It seems that various theories have been put forward about how this mysterious rock ended up in this museum, but as of today, no one is sure of what the genuine reason is with others saying that perhaps there was a mix-up in rocks, and that US officials did mean to give them a genuine lunar rock. In other news, NASA have said they're working hard to try and get astronauts on the lunar south pole by 2024. As of right now though, NASA is still carrying out extensive tests before they head back to the moon. This comes in the form of scanning the moon and ensuring all their equipment is at the highest standards. So what do you guys make of this fake moon rock? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.